There's a game that may have passed you by on the PlayStation 3 in 2008, and that's the club. But is it any good? Let's have a little look. In 2008 you may have missed this game, browsing the shelves your eyes may probably be drawn to Grand Theft Auto 4, Tekken, Final Fantasy or even Gran Turismo. You play as one of 8 characters who have been chosen to be in the club, but who chose them? A bunch of millionaires that want people to compete in blood sport where it's kill or be killed, it's either them or you. It's a bit like Squid Game but without the Playstation heads and you have a gun. Your choice of characters are Dragov, Finn, Seagar, Rennick, Nemo, Killen, Adjo and Kuro. They all have different speeds, stamina and strength but it's not a factor that causes any big issues. You can compete in a tournament where you'll run through various scenarios and complete challenges without dying. In the tournament there are various challenges from sprint where you must go from point A to point B without dying and killing anyone who stands in your way. Weapons and ammo can be found throughout the level as well as bonus items which will be signs that are on a wall that you can shoot off. There are a set amount that can be found in each level. You have your ammo count in the bottom left of the screen and the amount of grenades you have as well as the type of gun you are carrying. In the lower right is the amount of health you have remaining, and in the top right is the target score. Every stage has a score you need to achieve. When you've killed someone, the combo meter will start counting down, so get more kills to keep this going. The target score will get higher depending on which difficulty you choose, and they are casual, which I advise to begin with so you can get used to the controls. Reckless for the more confident. Real is pretty tough and insane is as it says really. Controls are simple with L2 to zoom and R2 to shoot. L1 will melee attack and R1 will run. Triangle performs a quick 180 degree turn. Circle will throw a grenade. Cross will perform a roll or kick through a barricade. And square will reload your weapon. Controlling the characters is no issue at all. The movements in the sticks are smooth and precise. I'm no good at precision aiming anyway, but I didn't get pissed off when I couldn't lock onto an enemy first time. What is good is you can play the single event where you can choose any level and rack up a high score. There are eight to choose from, and they are Steelworks, Venice, Prison Cells, Ocean Liner, Warehouse, Manor House, The Bunker, and The War Zone. Each of these will have different challenges in them. There's Sprint, where you need to make it to the exit. That's it, there's no time limit, you just need to stay alive. This is also great for getting a feel for the game, as there isn't really any pressure on you. Run the gauntlet where you have a time limit to get to the exit. You'll have the usual enemies trying to stop you, so best run fast and ignore any items you may want to pick up. If you fail, then the explosives in your head will detonate. There's time attack where you'll complete a number of laps for that stage. Every enemy you kill will add time to your clock so you don't die. Clocks can also be found throughout the stage to keep the time topped up.
shot. There's siege where you must stand your ground and shoot anyone who's attacking you from outside. You can't go past the coned areas, so you're stuck in one section. Once the time has run out and you're still alive, then you've won. Headshot. Headshot. Survivor, where again, just like Siege, you are confined to one area where you'll be attacked from all angles. Just survive until the time runs out. But is this worth playing? Hell yeah it is. It's full of adrenaline action. And with different challenges to get through, it doesn't get boring. The music fits the game perfect and the sound effects are amazing, especially if you run it through a surround sound system. The graphics look fantastic and don't look dated at all. There's always secret areas you can find and hidden bonus signs to look out for to get your score even higher. Unfortunately, with so many big name titles out at the time, this one got overlooked. And anyone who loves a run and gun game will sure to love this. It costs around £3 a day, so it's just pocket change for hours of fun. <laughs> 